Hi, I'm Arezu, a PhD student of ophthalmology at the University of Antwerp. You are very welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about one day of my PhD life and some of the challenges of this period. I hope you join the Obogon channel and enjoy it. I was an electrical engineer from the Esfahan University of Technology and my thesis was about the efficient coding of information in the retina of the eye. In 2021, I moved to Antwerp to continue my doctoral studies in the ophthalmology department. Now, I am the ESR9 of the Oberon project, working on eye modeling and refractive development. Indeed, I study how the eye grows and how this can be described as a mathematical model. I will explain it more later. In this video, I want to explain to you one week of my PhD life and what I might do during it. Finally, you will get to know the University of Antwerp and the city of Antwerp briefly. The first place that I faced in Antwerp was Central Station, the main railway station in Antwerp. Very beautiful and amazing. The station is widely regarded as the finest example of railway architecture in Belgium. It is assumed to come to Antwerp by train, as that is the easiest and quickest way to reach it from everywhere. But even if you are not coming by train, I highly suggest you don't skip the station. I believe the Antwerp train station is one of the most beautiful railway stations. Just look at it. Now, I start to tell a little about Antwerp city. Antwerp is one of the biggest cities in Belgium and has a rich cultural and architectural heritage. Antwerp has many parks, open spaces and squares throughout the city. Nature is really beautiful here. The first thing that you should have as soon as you arrive here is an umbrella. Most of the days in Antwerp are rainy, even in summer. The sun is rarely seen here. Another thing that I should tell you about Antwerp is having a bicycle here. Driving in Antwerp is difficult as a port city and one of the busiest cities in Belgium. So finding parking is also difficult here. Although it has an excellent transportation system here, the use of bicycle is very common in this city. Today is Monday and I decided to take you to my office. I want to accompany you as much as possible to see what my life is like for a week as a PhD student. Our working hours are from 9 to 6.30. This is a very beautiful nature until reaching the office. We see medical students who are going to their classes at the university. Well, the University of Antwerp consists of several campuses. The campus where our work is taken. In my project, we seek to develop a method to simulate healthy eye growth based on literature data and then test hypotheses about the underlying causes of myopia. I'm one of the members of the Oberon project that have collaboration with some other members of the ESR. 15 ESRs. In 
Here is the kitchen of our office. Now I want to show you one of the great libraries at Antwerp University. One of the places that I like to go at Antwerp University is the Estates Campus Library. This library is so well organized. You can find everything. There is internet and you can book separate rooms. On some weekends, I come here. Also, the students can hang out while studying. I like this place very much. It's really silent. Sometimes I come to work here for a change of environment. The light is so good. Moreover, you need to book your seat in advance by take a seat. In Corona period, I came here sometimes. There is plenty of seats for everyone. It is located in the central of Antwerp. Throughout the campus, there are of course places that you can go to rest for a while or talk with your friends. In your free time to refresh your mind and get the energy to work again, you can go here and watch the Arveson painting. They are really pretty. One of the other library that I like a lot is Permit Library, the main library of the Antwerp Library Network. You will find an extensive range of new and classical media, books, language courses, music, film, comics, pieces with internet and cultural activities are also regularly scheduled in Permit and there is a lot of of things to experience for children. Here is so interesting for me. Sometimes I come here and see their special events. One of the most important things that I really suggest you, especially through your PhD, is going to the gym and exercise. I usually go to the gym after my work hours. It really helps me to release my stress and fresh my mind for the next working day. The gym is located in one of the Antwerp University campus, Middleham campus, and it is really close to me. This gym has a wide range of fitness equipment and group lessons. There are various sport activities such as aerobic, dancing, yoga, and so on. Come here and enjoy it. After doing the first part of my PhD, I presented my results at the VPO conference. It was my first international conference and I was lucky on the trip to UK to visit the British Museum. It was really one of the biggest museums in the world. I really enjoyed it. As some part of our project, I should go to the second month. My first second month was in Spain. I spent two months in Spain at Zaragoza University as my first second month. One of the most beautiful days that I have seen in Antwerp was a snowy day. It snows less than the rain in Antwerp, but it was very exciting. In the end, say that with this video, you can take a small trip to my activities during my PhD and getting to know the University of Antwerp and the city of Antwerp better.